Hello and welcome once again to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things, all supports the channel is very much appreciated. And as you can see we are taking a look at the retro 3 and 3 quarter inch line from Marvel Legends. In particular the Green Goblin from the Spider-Man kind of corner of this 3 and 3 quarter inch collection. And like always let's rip them open and have a look, let them breathe as they say and have a look at this figure in hand. Now I am not an inbox collector but you can kind of preserve these boxes you can kind of get your thumb up underneath there you can pull the clamshell out and you can actually preserve the boxes so if you are unsure as, with, as to whether you want to keep it in the box or not that is definitely a way of opening them up and keeping the box in some kind of condition where you can reseal it now this line does appeal to both the inbox and outer box collectors I am definitely 100% an outer box collector I like to get my figures out I like to take some photos of them I like to pose them on the shelves um, and rearrange them in the cabinets and stuff but this line is definitely a line that appeals to the inbox collector because they look absolutely stunning in the box the boxes are very much a part of the appeal of this particular line now Green Goblin is one that I've been anticipating for quite some time and we had to wait to wave wave or series however it is they like to word it um, but, but series 6 until we obviously got our hands on him now we had Spider-Man right back at the beginning we've also had Symbiote Spider-Man we've had Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man so we've had a number of different looking Spider-Man figures we also had Venom as well which is a really cool figure and you can go and check out my review on that over on my channel but we hadn't had the Goblin yet we have had a couple of um, Spider-Man villains we've had uh, Electro uh, we've also had characters like Daredevil, the Fantastic Four, Venom, all these kind of characters that tie in with Spider-Man, but we haven't yet had any of the kind of core villains like um, Kingpin, uh, Doctor Octopus, Sandman, Mysterio, Scorpion, uh, Black Cat, the Lizard. We haven't had any of those yet. I'd love to see characters such as Vulture, Craven Hunter, uh, Shocker. Um, you know all of those kind of core characters for Spider-Man uh, but Green Goblin was definitely one that I was anticipating and looking forward to seeing and they've not disappointed in the slightest even just this small collection of Spider-Man kind of um, characters look absolutely fantastic on the shelf and I must admit the sculpt in on him is phenomenal it really is good for such a small figure you've also got his glider as well which is a nice little touch it's a bit hard to display him on it, it doesn't come with a flight stand or anything like that. So for me, I display him in the, on the shelf, kind of holding the glider. But you've got the little accessory of the bag like that goes over him. There was no pumpkin bombs, but I suppose they'd be so small, um, it'd be very difficult to do. But the details, even down to the oversized ears, the kind of the windswept bit on his hood as well. But also the details in his actual face. It's a really detailed figure for such a small figure. So he was definitely worth the wait definitely worth the wait now these three and three quarter inch figures are not for everybody we are currently this is uh, from wave six we've had wave seven as well I'm gonna review those a little bit later on my page and we just had wave eight announced as well so they are not slowing down at all now they tend to kind of release four figures per wave with a couple of reissues and stuff they've done an oversized Sentinel as well they've done a Ghost Rider on a bike um, but there's there's a whole bunch of figures out now in this three and three quarter inch line and they look really good on the shelf they really do the colors really pop there's something really nostalgic looking about them and they make up a really good display in any Marvel Legends kind of collectors display I would definitely recommend any Marvel Legends collector kind of going out and picking these guys up because they really do look good um, here he is on his glider let me just show you what I mean about kind of how he doesn't really stand properly I mean he fits on the glider lovely um, the, the the curls in his boots kind of keep him on there but because of the little bit at the front it doesn't really stand up which is a shame it would have been nice maybe if they'd included just a tiny little flight stand just so that we could maybe raise him up above some of the other figures that we had the articulation it's a five point articulation so you've got the bends in the legs the arms the head um, the same as all of the other figures but there is a lot of unique sculpting on this particular one that does make him stand out let me just show you how I display him so I make him hold on to one of the foot pegs here uh, and then he stands up with no problem at all holding on to his glider and kind of keeps him complete as a as a whole thing so let me just show you one of the pictures I took just a really really quick basic picture just elevated it elevated him on his glider um, on a flight stand and used a little bit of kind of cotton wool and stuff with the lights um, a little bit of haze as well and just kind of create this very simple straightforward looking picture 
for Green Goblin. But as you can see, it just highlights the details there on him really nicely. He is definitely a figure worth picking up if you're a fan of Spider-Man. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe, and all those things, and I'll see you soon.